And welcome to Airground, uh, the platform where we speak to African voices. And today we've got the honor to speak to the multi award winning, internationally renowned, and acclaimed uh, reggae, dance, and Afrobeat star from Ghana, Stone Boy. Welcome to Airground. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, everybody in Zim? Big up. Bless, bless. You are not a stranger to Zim. Uh, you, you, you collaborated with Nati O last two years ago. And the song has been hitting mm-hmm. this and your music is big in Zimbabwe. How does that make you feel? It's a great thing as African musicians, you know. Um, that's the only way forward. I think we have to endeavor to get together the more, you know, and showcase that strength in collaboration because it trickles down into 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 the African unity that has long been yearned for. And one of the very swiftest ways to make that happen is through collaboration of music, arts, and culture. You know, so this means a lot to me whenever I'm 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 opportuned to get in touch with, you know, some of my African brothers and sisters, you know, with any given opportunity. So I'm for Zimbabwe I've never been, but I can't wait to step in because I know that, you know, uh, the world is like a global village right now. So True. all the things that I have been doing and I've been up to as an African, African, African son is well and clearly, you know, observed by my Zimbabwean family. So, you know, I cannot wait to touch down in Zim to shut it down one time. Big ups to Nati or big ups to um 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 what I mean again, uh yo, all of my brothers, the last I think last year I was in South Africa and I went to watch one of the one of the Zimbabwean artists, what's his name again? Freeman HKD. In South- Where? Freeman HKD. Freeman, Freeman, Freeman was on tour and you know, I just went out to watch him and surprisingly I, I surprised him on stage and it was an amazing feeling, you know. Yeah man. And um, Big respect to um um there's there's one big dread in South Africa who holds it down for the industry is uh, just seed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Big respect. These are family to me as well. Naughty O nonetheless, you know. Big respect, you know. Oh, that respect. And Buffalo that soldier, that. same way, you know, Buffalo soldier. Buffalo soldier, yeah. Yeah, man, Buffalo, yeah, man, bless. Bless, bless. Winky D. I couldn't forget to mention his name. Winky D as well. <laughs> now for respect. Um, you are a global star now, but growing up, I mean, as a kid in Ghana, is this something that you ever imagined? Yeah, everything they say starts with a dream. You get what I'm saying? Like everything starts with a dream. Everything starts with a vision. So if you're visionless, then you cannot achieve. Most often we set our dreams to points where we, 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 you know, dreams they say have to be set at a point where it feels like it's a joke, you know? So for me growing up, I've always envisioned the the reality of, 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 of taking my craft to the next levels. So as I, as I speak with you right now, where I have to get to or where I want to get to or where we're working towards it's even much more greater than how far we have come. You know what I mean? So there's no two ways about it. Um, I think all these things that I'm achieving and I'm stepping is just by the by the doings of the divine, you know, and uh, it's, in my, it's in my line of purpose. You see what I'm saying? So I'm always grateful. I've, I've never been, I've never been overwhelmed by the fact that, you know, because it doesn't just come to us. We have to work for it. True, true. <coughs> but how much no, even it goes I, into that craft? No. Like, because we see uh, several Nigeria, Nigerian and uh, Ghanaian artists, they're already like breaking borders, you know. Um, how much work goes into that craft? Like, what, what's the creative process? Are you thinking international when you're creating or it's 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 by coincidence that the music is making it international? What's your thought? Honestly, it can never be by coincidence, you know. Nothing is not in plan, you know what I mean? Like, some things may happen as a result of, you know, may happen, like, um, along the way that you would have never thought of, you know. But it doesn't mean that 
there was no um um what i'm trying to say is that like you know like it's it just like you know like it's never it, it, it's not it's not it doesn't just happen by chance you know all this do global domination that you're seeing is by virtue of a lot of hard work is by virtue of a lot of intention effort being placed you know look taking at it from looking at it from the perspective of our own beloved fellow nigerians yes i am privy to a lot of <clears throat> very intentional steppings that have to go into breaking the boundaries and barriers for africa you know what i mean because if i do it i do it for africa eventually i might not be intending or i may not have had a thought at that particular moment but it doesn't cease to have effect on all of us as africans so yes. me that i've known better realize that there must be intentional efforts input into this heights that we are we are reaching and there's no better time to be alive as an African than now, looking at the global dominance that is coming our way, you know, in our time. It's always been, but we are here now witnessing what is happening now in our time. So, you know, we are really grateful for how our predecessors, our forefathers have had to go through or they went through to push it to this level. And I know that the generation that will come after us will surely be proud of us for how far we have also intentionally picked the doors too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, before we go on to your latest release right now, um, on the same note of what you're talking about, what would be your advice or what's what's what would you say to Zimbabwean artists that are trying to break onto the international stage in the same manner that you've done? You've been accepted in Jamaica, been accepted in Asia, in Europe, all over the world. Yeah. It takes a, it takes a, it takes continuous work, and 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 continuous um efforts. In like I said already, you have to you have to take into consideration the market that you want to affect, and therefore, you know, apply skill and intellect to it to be able to get through to them. Music is a universal language anyway, so yes. in the end. It can appeal to people that you would have hardly thought can get affected positively by by the music or your music or Zimbabwean music or however. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough, I feel like the Zimbabwean music or Ghanaian music or not, it's not even different from whatever it is that we are producing as Africans. The it is it is actually the diversity that brings the beauty of it so we just all have to continue to push and let's not think segregation and let's not think division you know i think that's another powerful tool as well so all of my all i can say right now to whoever is listening to us is that listen let us all grow and support and push what we are privy to and what we know to the heights you know, so all Zimbabweans, make sure you guys are logging on to your, your Zimbabwean stars as, as much as you're logging on to all other stars from the continent of Africa so mm. that everybody can be able to lift their own to the top. Mm. You know, that's one of the things that I can I, I can say as an advice, not to neglect or, com or necessarily or unnecessary compete with whoever because everybody is pushing to the top. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's the only way, basically, I can say, you know, big respect to Winky D, Nutty, all the all the big, big legends and all the, all everybody putting in their efforts, you know, it's beautiful. We can see that, you know, and, and, and we enjoy it too. Wow, uh, that's great. <laughs> Last year, you collaborated with the three-time Grammy Award winning uh, Royal Family, Morgan Heritage, and you produced mm -hmm. such a beautiful work. Uh, how was the experience working with Morgan Heritage? Yeah, man. The Morgan Heritage is like um, the family, Mojo, Graham, Pete. Pete, yeah. The, the three of them. These are like my my big brothers in real life, I tell you honestly. Yes. We communicate more often, especially Grams and I, you know. And, and they took me on tour the first time. 
Wow. On, on on you know into in Europe, I've been to Europe, done a few things, yeah. but on the level of being inducted or being seen with an international reggae group and reggae band, the first ever was with Morgan Heritage in two thousand and fifteen. You know, we toured Europe and hit some stages, and they brought me on as a guest artist, and hence I've never looked back. I think that has helped to propel my craft into the reggae, dancehall, you know, fan base more and more in the European sector. You know, although I am on, I mean, it's in line with my style. You know, I do Afro dancehall, Afro beats mm -hmm. dancehall and reggae music. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, you know. That's the that's the kind of that's the kind of connection that I have with the royal family of reggae music. As far as I'm concerned, you know, like they have put in a lot of work from their father to themselves. Shout out to the Bob Marley family, hundred percent. We have something cooking in the pipeline. Oh, you yes. know, um, yeah, you know, there's something going on, yes. and we're working actually, actually, and we even have an, another new song with the. Uh, the Morgan Heritage again is a brand new collaboration that we're yes. going to be releasing this year. Um, we're shooting the video in Jamaica, I think, next two weeks. So, you know, there are a lot of things that are going on right now, and I'm only appreciative and praying to God for more strength and more, you know, more more mercy and and guidance and protection because I really want to represent like I've already been representing for yeah. the African continent as a global reggae afrobeat downtown artist you know which is like one of its kind you know what i mean i'm one of the very few that is ho holding the flag up high True. for reggae and dancer and afrobeat at the same time on, on on these levels you know you mostly find solely afrobeat solely reggae solely dancer but i come with a trial you know yeah, yeah man wow. <laughs> you know you're unstoppable because recently just a week ago um uh, Jack Hewitt dropped a new album behind bars, you know. Uh, the new album carries a trick that features Stone Boy, and he speaks highly of you. He talks about the relationship that he has with you. And I've seen also a number of other Jamaican artists appreciating the work that you've done, which is quite impressive considering that uh, your music has elements from, uh, you know, reggae dancehall, and them appreciating it means a higher level of respect. Absolutely. I mean, shout out to Jackio. You know, the thing is that with all these reggae dancer artists that you see me working with, yeah. these are people that I respect a lot. You know what I mean? Because I understand I understand the journey differently from just from the hype perspective, yeah. where people just feel like, oh, somebody is, is on, a, on a hype. So we're trying to work with them because they're hyped up right now. They're in the yeah. scene right now. No, I build relationship. I build family because, brother, we're one big musical family spread across the world, you know? And we have a duty of transcending and disseminating musical powers of message to the people. True. So you, you find out that as much as we're all musicians, everybody has different levels of understanding of that calling. You know what I mean? So I only connect with brothers and sisters who have, certain levels you know who, who share similar levels of understanding could be those who have been on the path longer than i have yeah and it could be those who just jumped on the path you know recently so that's how i build proper relationship with these soldiers you know so shout outs to the kid the royal soldier you know yeah and i hope he comes out soon to join us on the road because we have a lot of things in store yes. you know happening big up to 10 tick you know you know, 10 tickets, one brother, too. We just dropped a thing from the other time. We shot a video in Jamaica awesome. when I went to play at Rebel Salute. Big ups to Rebel Salute. Uncle yeah, Rebel, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I saw you going, oh, big things. And I mean, like, interestingly, I'm counting up to my 44th Jamaican feature, you know? Wow. So we're just standing in strong and strong. You see me? Representing for, 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 for Africa, you know? You know? establishing the fact that Africa, al Kibulan, which is the ancient and the original, this is not a Greek word, this is not 
a Latin word. This is this is a word in depth, like deeply rooted yeah. in the Nubian. I mean, the Norse or the original. Remember, Africa is the mecca of mankind. You know what I mean? So, the beginning of everything. So you don't know. I I I see music on that level where we use that tool to connect with with, with one another. You you see it, yeah, man. Interesting because you talk about connection and talk about collaboration there. And I saw you at the Grammys and you were networking and I saw you moving deliberately, you know, connecting with people. Um, is is networking one important element of your craft? Yeah, man. Without network, we'd not be talking right now, you know? Yes. You know, without network, we wouldn't be reasoning with the lovely people of Zimbabwe connecting to Ghana is a network. There need to be some kind of work in a in a net, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I if yeah. I if I'm trying to use the same word to explain the word. Yeah. You know, and it's either by introduction or it's by a meeting at a certain point. Nothing is really given. Everything is actually really intentional. And then the the results thereof, mm. you know, there's an intentional um um um, um effect. And then there are other, um, other, other, other things that come out of that intentional effect, you know. So when you get the platforms, when you get the opportunities, when you go into spaces, there's a need to connect. You know what I mean? I am realistically somebody who who values respect more than ego. Do you get That's what I'm good. saying? That's ego good. gets in the way of a lot of things. Where there's ego, I don't go. You know, deep. so deep. I went on the red carpet. These are great people, including myself, because it's just like a room filled with a lot of big people. Yes. So why would I not reach out? Why am I waiting for somebody to reach out? People reach out to me and I reach out to people. It's just as yeah. simple as that. And that's how we continue to hold the connections together and continue to sell the African narrative as it can never be sold enough, my brother, mm -hmm. because yeah, you know other people are selling their narratives. You know, the hunter is telling its stories. True. The lion must tell its stories too, and you cannot sit and have that done for you. You have to move with it. Oh, I'm, I'm really inspired because I mean I look at the achievements that you have made, and I look at how humble and how. Um, down to earth you are, you know, despite all of these accomplishments, which is rare to find when artists are making it, even when they're making small gains, at times they grow too big and they're untouchable, they are not interested in connecting like what you're saying there. So enough respect for that. Um, you just yeah, man, give thumbs. Bless. Uh, just before we close off, you dropped more of you. It's a beautiful song. I love it. I love it. I think Amazing, it's, you know? It's, it's amazing. And I see how you sound there is so full, it's deep. Tell us about this song. See? It? Yeah. Yeah, man, absolutely so full, you know, like, it, 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 sometimes I, I, I think the music itself, actually, when you pay critical attention, explains what the artist is trying to put across already because yeah. in certain times, you find the tone of the song actually interpreting the mood because it's all about vibes and feelings and waves and vibrations you know what i mean yeah. so this particular one has you it takes you on, on on a wave it takes you on a feel good wave and speaks about love and then you know it intertwines a little bit of high life a little yeah. bit of dance in the end and some smooth flow which i can put to r and b sort of yeah. so but all together gives you a very modern Afrobeat feel because you know today's Afrobeat as we have gladly coined the name for yeah, you know is actually is really actually and and it encompasses many more feelings you know a lot more stuff from the African you know I think I think this is a feel good one for the for 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 speaking about love you know what I mean yeah, so yeah Let's enjoy this, brother. Let's, it's, a, it's a great one. It's a soulful one, like you said. I, I love the song. 
That song comes off of the album that's going to be dropping ASAP. And I oh, promise the world, God. this is going to be one of the biggest albums to, to ever come out to Africa. You know what I mean? So just be on the lookout. Make sure you guys check it out. <clears throat> when it drops, I'm going to get right back at y'all. You know what I mean? It's an amazing album. It has some crazy and amazing features. Yeah. And the last time I dropped an album was April 24th, 2020, in the heart of the pandemic. We're almost three years, two months yeah. to three years to go. You know what I mean? Today is the 23rd of February. Yeah. So, you know, tomorrow, which is 24th, it makes it exactly two months away from three years. So wow. here you go. And within that three years span, I'd only officially dropped three songs, which is Therapy, which is Giddy Bar and More of You right now. So everything has been made, planned for the consumption of my beautiful people. So you don't know. Yeah. Look out ah. for more things, you know. Now, for respect, but what what keeps your consistency? Because I mean, this is a very competitive scene. Ever since you got onto the spotlight, you have not left. What, 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 <laughs> what magic? What, what what magic are you using so that my brothers and sisters in Zim can also take the same? Give thanks. Yeah, man. Growth is you know growth is inevitable. You know, I mean, as that's how I see growth. You know, as much as forces of gravity would pull you down from all directions, you know? You have to also consciously, you know, stay in a in 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 a, in, a, in a zone where you always always evolve and always grow because that's like stages in life. In the next 20 years I'm gonna be an O O G O G O G. You know? True. But I'll be a I'll be I'll be a happy OG because at every level I did the most that I could. I didn't quit. I didn't just leave the scene. I didn't just be like, I'm tired. No. Yes. You know, like you just continue to keep evolving and keep working hard and yeah. keep leading yeah. the chart. You know what I mean? Like step ahead of yourself and ultimately be grounded. You know, how can you leave when you're grounded, when, you're, when, when, you, when your hands are on the, on the ground? When you're humble, when you are holding, holding, holding things down, you, I think you can never be blown away into the wind. You know that's just how I can describe it. So humility is important. Being grounded is important. Staying true to the craft is important because guess what? As ma as so long as we continue to speak words, yes. So long as we continue to stay alive, music shall live because it's a combination of words, sounds, and power. You know, so I find myself to be in a space where even if I am no more, the craft will still be there. The music will still be there. So yeah. it's it's not really it's not really a thing that you can do and and, and vanish. You know, if yeah. you understand what it is that you're doing, you actually just evolve. So you don't know. That's all I can say about my consistency over 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 a decade. <laughs> wow, enough respect, bro. I yeah. mean, it's quite impressive and keep inspiring the continent. You're changing the narrative about Africa. Which now, is right. You know, the thing is, we started early, you know? Yeah. So I think that's just the reason why we're still here and there's more room for improvement, you know? True, true. Wow, we look forward, like you said, look forward to seeing you in Zimbabwe. <clears throat> uh, uh, I can't it's... wait to touch down in Zimbabwe, brother. Like this year, mm -hmm. I'm trying to. You know, we're, we're, we're open to doing an, an African tour proper. I don't know. You know, awesome. It, it, awesome. It, there are so many constraints that are, have made it impossible for African artists to be able to tour Africa easily as much as they would have toured anywhere else in the world. You know, infrastructural problems. Um, yeah. um, um, what do you say? Um, travel problems. Yeah. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that are uh, but we will still do the best we can to make sure we keep connecting together because you know in the end is really important wow enough respect thank you so much my brother i really really appreciate your time and bless it my brother bless it my brother Isabel. but before you go 10 seconds 10 seconds something just 10 seconds Krista. i don't know what you're doing as 10 seconds yo <clears throat> all right is the wine party reading rock party reading Bounce pony reading, man, jump pony reading, wine pony reading, 
Why I'm pondering in my love, your love, baby, baby. You know I can't get enough. I want more of you. Baby, give me more and more and more. Baby, you know I can't get enough. I want more of you. You, you, or him, I. Send me who I'm in die. A la la li la la la. Send me who I. Watch your dad. Hey, Zim. <clears throat> you keep me wanting. Baby, never put me on a long thing. Girl, I wanna give you all my things. And I woulda never do you wrong things, wrong things. Baby, make you wrong things in your direction. I'm pointing because you bring me more anointing. For you be the one I'm longing, longing. You wanna mad thing, man? Go go look up for the song, man. See? Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. More of you. <clears throat> my yes. bad, I'm choking, but I still have to do something. Yeah. <clears throat> No, it's fine, and uh, we wish you a speedy recovery. <laughs> My uh, big respect. Yeah, man. Thanks Nancy. for having me, brother. I, I really appreciate this. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, my name is Plot Park. I've been speaking there to international artists from Ghana. Stone Boy doesn't need an introduction. We're all vibing to his music. We've got a new song called Morphe. Check it out. It's online. It's promised that's an album. After three years, it's dropping this year. So keep respect. it yeah, man. Around. And also, he says he can't wait to touch down in Zimbabwe. Let's make it happen. Absolutely, I can't can. wait. I can't wait. Yes. I can't wow. wait. Thank Shout you so out much. to all of and then make sure y'all follow me on, on Instagram. Check out, subscribe on YouTube at Stoneboy all handles, platforms. It's at Stoneboy S T O N E B W O Y. And I'm, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, don't know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bless. 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 Bless.